What's up, everybody? Welcome to this fun and exciting cheat day review. As today, we take a look at Blow Pop Inside Outs. I was at the Dollar Tree, just taking care of business, buying the bare essentials. Decided to walk through the candy aisle. Then I stopped by this, and I'm like, well, that's new. It's a Blow Pop, but reversed. Now, if you don't know what a Blow Pop is, it's a sucker with a candy shell, and on the inside, after you suck away the candy shell, there is a piece of gum. Well, now Charms has decided that they want to make a reverse where this is a bubble gum wrapped with a sucker inside instead. Now on the back, you have the flavors of cherry, blue raz, grape, and watermelon. All right there. We're gonna try all four flavors, see which one is the best, if, if any of them are good at all. Five grape, we've got three cherry, we got three blue raz, and one whole watermelon right there. So first up, let's try the grape here. Hmm. The grape right off the bat, very flavorful. So much flavor. The elasticity of this gum is very, very just hardcore. It's like you're chewing on a piece of rubber, which is good. It'll keep its elasticity for a very, very long time. But as of right now, it's still very flavorful. Now, let me just show you. I'm going to bite into another one here. So the inside of it kind of looks like a geode that's been cut open, but the crushed sucker insides, very gooey, just kind of like a very, very small, rocky kind of candy, like a crushed lollipop. And mixed within the crushed bits of this lollipop, tastes like there's some kind of sour liquid mixed in with it, some type of sticky sour liquid, which is good because it mixes well with the sweetness that is the gumball. Grape, it's a great go-to flavor. It's a standard, it's a classic. I give it a 9 out of 10. Blue Raz. Mm. Very, very potent with that blue raspberry flavor. Tartness is there. It's exactly what you would expect if you were to actually eat a blue raz blow pop. Personally, I like the grape more. But the blue raz is there, hits hard with the tartness, but it goes away very, very quickly. And now I'm just left with this standard bubblegum kind of taste. I give blue raz a 6 out of 10. Here is the one and only watermelon. It's very, very sweet. Almost too sweet. It does have the watermelon flavor with it, but I think the sweetness overtakes it trying to be a watermelon flavor gumball. Yeah, that is just very sweet. And it seems like the watermelon gum is wanting to fall apart and not stay together as much as the others. I give the watermelon one a 4.5 out of 10. All right, last one up, we've got cherry. So the cherry flavor is very, very sweet, much like the watermelon. It's not as tart as the blue raspberry or the grape. It reminds me of just biting down on a cough drop and chewing the bits and pieces without like the uh, menthol taste to it. It's super sweet. The sweetness takes over the cherry flavor a bit too much, and uh, that's what kills it. I give the cherry flavor a 5 out of 10. All right, so what do I got to say about Charms Inside Outs? They are very, very sugary. Let's just say that right off the bat. 
There is a lot of gum to chew within one of these balls, even with it hollowed out and having the pieces of lollipop on the inside. I will definitely say if you want the best flavor experience, get the grape and blue raspberry and throw away the cherry and the watermelon because the cherry and watermelon are just too sugary, even for someone like me that loves sweets. All in all, this wasn't a bad pickup for the amount of gumballs that you get for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Now the star of the show, the actual bits of lollipop inside here are really good. I was kind of hesitant because I didn't think, oh, hard candy inside of a piece of bubble gum, would that be actually any good or is it just gonna hurt my teeth? No, it's uh, very pleasantly surprising how the lollipop crush inside here mixes well with the gum. It's easy to chew and the the tartness whatever tangy substance they are mixing in with the bits of lollipop really is a game changer and makes this something that you should probably pick up and try at least once that's my recommendation try it once and definitely uh, go about if you want it again after that so my verdict for blow pop inside outs i say pick it up i recommend it it's a 7 out of 10 all around. Anyways, that is it for this cheat day review. Thank you guys for watching. I am DJ Glowing Ice. Always wanting to remind you that it's okay to cheat every once in a while. And your question of the day. If you enjoy steaks, how do you like yours cooked? I myself, I used to go full on well done because I was scared that if I got anything cooked less uh, I would get sick or something because of whatever the blood never really uh, ever bothered me but I was just always like cook it well done I don't want to get sick but then I realized hey steak tastes better when it's cooked at medium medium rare even so my go-to now to if I were to get my steak uh, somewhere and how do you want it sir I would like it medium rare. How do you like your steak? Write it in the comments below, and I'd love to see them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you later. Peace out.